Take two. Take two, okay. I won't zoom in on your face this time. That was ridiculous. We'll post like two seconds of it. If your waist begins with a two, eat. <laughs> Josh films like a goof, but we just posted a Q&A. Check it out if you haven't already. It was super fun to film. Um, we were just in the gym basically hitting... Oh. <laughs> we are hitting our squat and op opener and then some arms, but we're kind of feeling pretty beat up. Josh mentioned it in the last video. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the time off. We have about four days to recover before our powerlifting meet. So we'll be nice and refreshed, um, hit some big numbers, and uh, yeah, just go to the coffee shop right now and chill. Let's start it, pal. Every day I spend my time drinking wine, feeling fine, waiting here to find the sign that I cannot. Remember the first time I hit six plate deadlift and you didn't film it? That just came to mind. Never lived down that day. I Do you remember how so bad, bad that was? I felt so bad. First time hitting six plates. This is a big milestone if any of you have been there. So fired up, I'm like, yeah, show me the footage, Kyle. And he goes, oh, bro, whoops. And he'll never live it down. Okay, we were using an iPhone at the time, so. Apparently this coffee shop is sick. I've heard good things. I've never been, but let's see. You in? I've never been here, but yeah, I'm pumped. I like trying new coffee. The Harambe. <laughs> I got you, bro. <laughs> Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I don't want to get nervous. He wants to show, me. he's going to show you how to do it, bro. Okay. This is Kyle's first coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Place is bro -y. This is, uh, we told him it was Kyle's first coffee. You guys know this is not my first coffee. Josh is just being a plug. <laughs> So usually we have a lot of uh, Colombian blends, not usually Ethiopian, this is my first one, but it's really good, really strong, tastes quite nice. When's our next video? Yeah, when's our next video upload? You've been recording for 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Yo, Kyle's gonna be a parkour guy. All right, I challenge Kyle to a parkour thing. This is something we randomly do. <laughs> you hit like a stone. I mean, I only cheated a couple times. <laughs> nice. All right, commit. <laughs> parkour, parkour. You're like a frog. Vision is getting hopeless, but hold it. I'm getting close as my soul is. I'm seeing ghosts. The solo is now a poet. Hypnosis, overdose on potions, adjusting to them. So, on our video, uh, we need your help. We got a ton of questions about how we kind of balance all the different areas of our lives. So, the way I see it, there's four components I have a personal component, my fitness component, like my personal fitness, my business component, so bosses and business, and then the last one being kind of like school and all that other stuff. So it's very hard obviously when you got a lot of things. A lot of people will say I can't make it to the gym because I'm in school, but then some people say I have school work. Like, everyone has different situations in their situation preventing them to do something. So instead of thinking in a preventative mindset, you gotta really enable yourself to be able to do these things. I find I have more time than I need to manage all four sectors of my life. Very productive. We can still do fun things like pool and things and we'll just jump into the specifics here and kind of give you guys some insights on productivity and our personal lives and like what goes on in the day to day. Ready to get slapped, pal? Oh buddy, I'm gonna kill you. For me, the most important thing I learned is from Darren Hardy was every morning is very linear and static for me. So what I mean by that is every morning is the same thing. I know I have my morning. I wake up to have my morning. I usually wake up around 6.55 a.m. 
first things first, I'll go upstairs, I'll drink maybe half a liter of water. I love water. Loading up on this. And I'll grab my coffee, I'll go downstairs, I'll answer all my clients. Some coaches will let it go. They won't answer the clients for like three, four days. I don't really think that's acceptable, so I try to answer everyone in the morning, everyone at night. And that way I'm not doing it throughout the day and it's not stressing me out. So that's how I get started. Past that, I tend to just kind of write down some of my goals, my goal setting in that regard, get everything planned for the day, start packing everything for my day, start communicating, trying to tackle like a frog of the day, so that's a bigger task that I know needs to get done. And I have these consistencies in my morning that really propel me forward. Past that then, the day's up for grabs. Me and Kyle very scheduled when we meet up, so we sync our school around when we meet up, and then we kind of just make it work. Same with gym, we go to multiple gyms, we have to leave our gym equipment certain places, but I just find the best thing you can do is prepare ahead of time for each event, have everything planned, and just kind of be able to work with that. And a lot of people at school too, like you just gotta learn to be efficient. It can be really overwhelming if you do everything they tell you to do, as bad as that sounds. You can get away with not doing all of it and still do perfectly well in school, like maintain a great average. As far as business and everything goes, that's a continuum. It's something that is always happening, something we're always working on and growing, and we're always trying to come up with new things. We have tons of meetings, tons of goal setting, and that's how I really cope with things, and Kyle's got some sick tips too. All right, what you got for them? So basically, like as a business and as a person, um, Josh and myself, like we really hold true to our values. So we set our goals, like we talk about this, like um, daily, weekly, monthly. And when it comes to like having your values, I find that it's just such an important part of growing because like you hold true to them. Like you, you set your goals and like things that you're gonna stand by. And it's just like a lot of decisions within life become so much easier because you have those values. Like if my value, like my goal here is to grow my business, like I'm gonna make all my decisions around that. And I believe like a social life within family and friends is just like so important. But sometimes if my value here was to, um, if I were to want to like maybe get this video up, I would hold that way higher than maybe going out for a few drinks. So I think it's just very important to have like really the goals set in mind and like really what you're aiming to work towards. And one thing to keep in mind is there is going to be a, there are going to be a lot of times where you have to make sacrifices. So um, as a as someone who's trying to go through school and trying to grow a business and just trying to do all this stuff, you are going to have to make sacrifices sometimes within your social life. Um, we're finding time here to play pool and it's like an amazing time but we're also strategizing, we're filming a video and we a lot of times it goes hand in hand so that's why we like to do a lot of things like our cardio challenge series where we're kind of like mesh the two of them. We have a great amount of fun with some buddies who are also being productive within our videos and really staying true to our goals and our values. So for me, the last thing I really have to add and this is huge, is don't do it if you don't love it. So business and working on growing the business, growing the YouTube, growing our media, growing our presence, becoming better, being elite in fitness, which isn't necessarily the most fun thing, it can be kind of tasking. So you're out there working so hard every day and doing all this. If I didn't like this, I wouldn't do it, but I love it. Like me and Kyle will spend 10 hours working on all of this and we'll leave feeling pretty amped, fired up, happy not drained, whereas if I were to work a 10 hour shift anywhere, I'd wanna kill myself, like, feel like garbage. So, if you're YouTubing, like a lot of people are YouTubing and they're taking long breaks and they're like, it's tiring me, I'm, I'm exhausted, like, oh, it's so hard to upload. I don't know if like it's you're meant to be a YouTuber, like it should be something you love, something that's really fun to do, and it should fit with your life, and like Kyle said, your values and goals, because we everything we do here, we love, like it's, I love going to a coffee shop for 10 hours, and making amazing spreadsheets, doing client work, getting people to reach their goals, and that's something that I'll always hold true, and that's why I feel we've done decently well for ourselves and why we're continuing to grow more and more every month. My emotions. Every day I spend my time So I probably just had the best pool game in my life. Look at this. Destroyed. What? <laughs> Good thing we're giving lifestyle tips, not pool tips. Yeah, eh? seriously.